everyone! So MAC released their newest collection, Isabel and Ruben Toledo, online on January 29th and February 5th in stores. The collection featured lipsticks, lip glasses, ombre blushes, mascaras, eyeliners, eyeshadow palettes, and nail lacquers. Most of the products, if not all of the products in the collection are housed in special edition packaging, so there is going to be a slight price increase. So if you are interested, here's what I picked up from the collection. The lipsticks retail for $17.50 US, $21 in Canada, and contain .10 ounces of product. Victorian is described as a mid-tone pink red with a matte finish, and Sin is described as a deep blood red with a matte finish. Victorian is a medium brightened red with hints of pink, cool undertones, and a matte finish. The formula was lightly creamy, smooth, fully opaque, and pigmented. The color applied evenly and didn't drag during application, and it's actually the shade I am currently wearing. I applied Victorian on my lips, and then I patted my face powder over top kind of to dull the color down, but because that drying powdery finish was driving me crazy, I just put a clear gloss over top and it kind of turned pink, but I'm liking it. But on its own, this shade lasted six hours before fading and left behind a stain. Sin is a dark, deepened burgundy with cool undertones and a matte finish. The formula has a mostly opaque yet buildable coverage, and the texture is on the drier, stiffer side, which can make application a little more difficult. When applied straight from the tube, the lipstick lightly tugs and pulls at your lips, which can create jagged edges. This particular shade would benefit best by pairing it with a lip liner for a more even, fully opaque color payoff. Sin lasted 7 hours before fading. I picked up all three of the limited edition blush ombres. Azalea Blossom is described as a light cool pink. Kindergarten Red is described as a crimson into pale nude. And Ripe Peach is described as a light coral. They retailed for $32 US, $39 in Canada, and contained 0.35 ounces of product. Azalea Blossom is a light to medium lavender pink with cool undertones and a satin finish. The texture is soft, smooth, finely milled, it had good pigmentation that was buildable, but it can be a little troublesome to blend out on the skin evenly because the product is a little powdery. This shade lasted seven and a half hours before fading. Kindergarten Red is a medium pink with cool undertones and a satin finish. The texture is soft, smooth, easy to blend, but it is on the drier side so it can end up looking a little powdery on initial application. It had decent pigmentation that was only buildable to a semi-opaque coverage and left a soft satin sheen to the skin. Kindergarten Red wore well for seven hours before fading. Ripe Peach is a medium peach with hints of coral, warm undertones, and a satin golden sparkle. The texture is soft, smooth, easy to blend, but again it is on the drier side. It had good pigmentation that was buildable and left a very soft, natural sheen to the skin. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's actually what I have on my cheeks right now. I used a bigger blush brush for this one. I kind of just took it, swipe it from side to side to try and get that gradient ombre effect on my cheeks. So you have the lighter shade on the top, dark shade on the bottom. I didn't put it on very dark, but you can kind of tell that it's darker down here than it is up there. Either way, Ripe Peach lasted seven hours before fading. I should also note that many people considered the Ocean City Blush Ombre from the Parenza Schooler collection to be very similar, if not an exact dupe, for Ripe Peach. However, when I compared the two, Ripe Peach ended up being lighter and more peach colored, while Ocean City was darker, more orange, and had a completely matte finish. I also picked up one of the three Pearl Glide eyeliners that were in the collection. Chlorophyll is described as a green line with pearl. The Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliners retailed for $17.50 US, $21 in Canada, and contained 0.04 ounces of product. Chlorophyll is a vivid yellow chartreuse with a subtle gold sparkle. This shade had good pigmentation in a single swipe and was very easy to build to an opaque coverage. The fine sparkle was hardly noticeable once applied to the eyes, but the consistency was soft, smooth, and creamy, which allowed the product to glide on easily without tugging or dragging. Chlorophyll lasted eight hours before fading. I'm also wearing chlorophyll today. I have it on above the black winged liner, and once this liner sets, it stays put. I have nothing over top of it. I didn't set it with anything, and it is incredibly vibrant. So that completes my MAC Toledo collection slash haul video. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if you picked up anything from this collection or if any of the products have caught your eye. As always, don't forget to check out my blog for more details, photos, and swatches, as well as like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to give me a follow, I will have all of my social media listed here, as well as down in the description. As I always say, I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope that you have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for watching.